Today, we're gonna to talk about that one subject that probably nobody ever wants to talk about. But before I get into that, folks, remember, if you need bone sauce, comfrey, anything down below, check that description box, we got it right there. All right, I get a lot of emails, y'all, and more and more every day, most of which are pretty favorable. Um, but they're kind of tough to read sometimes when somebody tells you, hey man, you know, you changed my life or thank you so much for all you do and all these other things. It's kind of hard to take because I know the full extent of my ignorance and so does everybody else around here. But you don't capture that part on tape. You don't see those things. You don't see these colossal mistakes I make. And you might be thinking, some of you out there might be thinking, man, you know, I don't have it together like he does. I don't want to give it a shot. Folks, I don't have it together. I'm trying to keep it together, you dig? I, I make colossal mistakes and I make them all the time. Before I get into the physical mistakes, let me talk about the mental mistakes. I talked about one a while back where I was a little bit, not a little bit, I, I had a certain level of idiotic fear that I know was sown by the enemy because we're not given over to a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So when that stuff creeps in, I know that it's not of my Lord and Savior. So with that said, those are things, and it's a failure on my part, and not seeking the right remedy for that failure that, you know, and it can metastasize if you're not careful. You know who feels the brunt of that the worst? Your family. It's like when you go to go to, way to, to a job, you know, you work 8, 10, 12 hours, whatever the case may be, then you go home. Well, who gets the worst that you have to offer every single day when you're working that job? The people you love most. You're short with them. You're quick with them. You're nasty with them sometimes. And sometimes they're the same way to you. So the same thing happens here, especially when you're working pretty much all day with the people you love most on this planet. So tempers can flare, people you have disagreements, and you're sick of being around the same person all day, every day, sometimes. That's usually not the case, but every once in a while, it does happen. And then there are some things where I have to go right back to the book of James and wish, oh goodness, man, I really wasn't governing my mouth very well, and I didn't come off the way I, I meant to. Even happens in videos. But with that said, let's walk over to the, to the uh, physical things. All right, before I get into this physical failure, let's talk about some of you folks that reach out to us and you're you're off doing a YouTube channel and you're thinking, oh man, I'm just not getting the legs I want. Maybe rethink the whole motive while you're doing it because honestly, YouTube is a byproduct, at least we see it as a byproduct of what we already do. If you're looking to become a star, I don't know that YouTube is a place to do it. I mean, I'm certainly never gonna be a star in this platform with some of the things I have to say, but um. Just remember, in those things right there, you gotta work, you gotta keep working, you gotta, you know, just gotta stay with it. You know, some of the advice I was given early on, and I certainly haven't arrived. I mean, I don't know where arrived even means in this platform, to be honest with you, or whether it, it'll be around forever in a day, who knows? Anyway, first physical failure, okay? And it's not you, buddy, I'm not talking to you. You're the greatest Pyrenees. Wanted to make sure I wasn't hurting his feelings. Right here, this is his pond that Justin dug for us. Okay, we told you right off, the thing wasn't holding water. And so we brought the pigs when they were real little over here to glay this pond. Did it work? See, this is a failure. And, and somebody asked me about it the other day. They called me out on it, asked for an update. Frankly, I just forgot all about it. It wasn't that I was trying to hide it, I just forgot. Well, guess what? It worked and it didn't work. It worked at like the bottom third. And then it held water there, but not anything above. Couple of tactical errors, didn't leave them there long enough. There was a bunch of other things. It kind of worked, but honestly, at the end of the day, the only reason it's holding water now is because, and I, we do so many videos that I sometimes forget, we put bentonite clay in the bottom of this, and that's what's holding the water in there right now. We gotta put some more in the little love pond down the hill. But look, that was a failure. You're gonna have those. At least in that failure, I said, okay, that didn't work, so now I need a plan B. So it's actually a good thing. So in the process of failing, think of how many tools I just put in my toolbox by, you know, fail. I'll put it this way. Like I said before, that famous line from Teddy Roosevelt, fail while daring greatly. That's what I try to do. But now that failure has now been turned to a, I, I would say a success at this point. Let's move to the next one.
All right, y'all, you see me wearing this shirt, and it's really an accident. But the point is, is that there is a fair amount of the batches I make of bone sauce that fail. And it's a very laborious process. The way we invented it, the way we do it, took a lot of time to even invent it. And then the process is very laborious. It's tough. And it ain't, if it ain't right, it ain't going out. It ain't leaving this place, okay? So I fail at that a lot, but I stay after it. You know what else I fail at? We put in a lot of trees, but you know, it just occurred to me that I never tell you how many of them don't make it. And it's it's not a huge, I'd say maybe 10% so far. You gotta give it a little more time to really know for sure. But here's another area where I failed. Now you're probably wondering what these little orange things are growing out of this tree. Well, it's my, it's my new method that I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, developing and testing for Expellier. I've talked about this. If you want to learn more about it, I talked about it in great length on um, Patreon. So instead of using the wire hangers where I go from here to here, I said, you know what? I did a pretty, pretty uh, comprehensive knot video. And I'm like, instead of doing that, it seems like I could do this in other ways. Well, I did it that way and it seems to be working. I'll unveil it more in the future once I'm sure that it's solid. And I'm about 99% sure it is. Anyway, what I did fail on, this branch right here, you see why it's not going down? Is because I tried to take too many. This is a war you win in inches, not miles. And I was in a rush, I was impatient. I pulled this too far and I snapped it a little bit. Now it should come back because it's joined to the cambium layer. It should work out. But the point is, is that do I give up on doing this method of uh, training trees because I tore one branch? No, it just means next time I'm gonna be a lot more careful. Next one. All right, y'all, you see this right here behind me? To a certain extent, that is a failure because right now I should be walking in the front door of an earth ship, you dig? <laughs> so what I'm getting at, well, first of all, let me just say, that I am the world's biggest failure when it comes to estimation. I don't care what it is. You ask me to pick up something, tell you how, how much it weighs. Look, I am the world's worst estimator and I don't care what it is. So in terms of time and stuff like that, yes, I intended, I didn't expect life to unfold as it has and being drawn in so many different directions. I should have anticipated a lot of things, but I didn't. And this earth ship that I should be doing an MTV Cribs on right now, walking in and showing you about how awesome it is, doing a Vanna White up in here, the whole nine yards, it should have already happened by now. It, at least it should have been underway, but it's not. Why? Like I said, life happens. A whole lot of things have to happen. Moving parts have to happen. Um, you might be thinking, gee, you know, man, you know, man, that seems like a lot of, that's not a big deal. It is kind of a big deal when you when, you're, when you announce something and you think it's gonna unfold the way you thought and it doesn't, but check it out. If you think I'm giving up, you got another thing coming because it is going to happen. Barring something that's beyond my control, it is going to happen. It's just other things have to be done, okay? Now, with that said, let me go ahead and just, because we're already down here, let's just kind of mosey on over here and I'm gonna show you some of that hidden stuff that most people are very, very afraid of having other people see, especially if they're coming over your house. Everybody's thinking, man, it's junky. I got, if you if you only knew how many times I heard that, it would make your head spin. And so people are reluctant to have people over because they think you live, you know, you're worried that they might think you're living like the Clampets, okay? Anyway, what do you see here behind me? There's pigs, when they were over here, we're taking all kinds of stuff out of there. There's a blue barrel back there dug halfway in the ground. You know, there's stuff thrown all around here because it's in various stages of demolition. We're tearing this down so we can build a new bull shelter down there. And in the process, you're dealing not with a bunch of bull shelters, but a lot of bull. Yeah, you fill in the blank. And that's what you come across. So it doesn't actually unfold the way you want. And honestly, you may think, man, I don't want to have anybody over here. I got tarps growing up out of the ground. I got boards everywhere. I got trees falling over, but I got news for you. YouTube channels, and I guess to a certain extent, I'm guilty of it too. You only see the best side. It's like social media where these kids get on there. They go to Facebook or whatever they call these things these days. They go on there and they're seeing all the other people that are showing pictures 
of a wonderful life, life without flaws. And they get this false sense that that's how life, that how people really are. When you and I both know it isn't true. Well, the same thing happens in terms of what we do in the homestead world. We're thinking that, you know, just because you saw this on camera, that that's the way the whole place looks. Got news for you. There is no legit or serious homesteader that I've ever seen in my life that doesn't have a junk pile somewhere. It could be in the barn. It could be out back. It could be anywhere. It could be obvious. You know, that we all have them. And if you're doing things, you always have those in reserves because you never know what you might need. So don't be self-conscious. And I'm, I'm speaking to myself here because for years I was. If you saw where we lived in Texas for a while, you'd think, say what? Honestly, everybody's self-conscious about those things and you shouldn't be. You are building something. You're moving forward. Find me a construction site that didn't start with dirt. See where I'm going with this? So don't be self-conscious about those things. Look, folks, I can go on and on about the failures that I had when I put up the high tunnel. Probably ought to do a video on that all by itself. The failures we had when we put up the fencing. They were corrected, but it was still a failure. Think about it. The most consequential failure is the one that you may not be able to fix. It's not like a pond that needs bentonite. It's not like a tree that you can just prune off the branch and maybe you messed up. It's not like anything else. Those failures in life, and I've been talking, I guess, to some extent more and more about them lately, because honestly, it's one of my biggest concerns. Think about it. The only thing worthwhile. You, me, and everybody else out there, the only thing worthwhile that you're going to leave behind on this earth is your progeny, is your posterity, your kids. And if they're suffering in all of this, then really, what is it all worth? You know, at the end of the day, we can't, I struggle with this because I'm so at it and I'm busy all the time that I come off short with the people I love most, folks. That is honestly a failure we can't tolerate, especially when we're all dealing with the pressures of, Rising prices of everything, whether contrived or otherwise, I'm voting on contrived. It still creates tension. The things going on in this world, even though it's not maybe in your backyard, it creates tension. All these things that are happening, unfolding simultaneously at the same time create tension. So we have to make sure that when we have those failures, and folks, this is probably the most important thing I'm going to say in here. And the thing, I, if I have one great quality, is that when I do step out of order, when I mess up, as soon as I know, I go and to the person I screwed up with, I don't just say I'm sorry, I ask them to forgive me. That's important, it is. And plus it builds an enormous amount of respect from them to you because you're laying yourself bare by asking them to forgive you. So, failures are gonna happen, y'all, especially in this lifestyle, you're gonna have failures in everything. You just pick yourself up, you keep going, 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 and you figure out what not to do. But let's minimize those failures in our interactions with the people we love most. Because honestly, those are by far the most consequential. All right, y'all. Hope this is a blessing to you. I know it's not the typical permaculture I know people want to see. But honestly, there's such a thing as a permaculture divorce. As my first permaculture instructor taught me. And you want to minimize those. Okay? So... Remember, we got bone sauce, we got comfrey, we got all the things you need. Check out the stuff down below. We got chicken processing video, EMP shield, whatever you need. We got it, y'all. Well, not whatever you need. What we have is available to you down below. All right, y'all. Hope, Hopefully everything was a blessing. Till next time, this is Billy for Permapastures Farm, where permaculture is my passion. We'll see you next time.